Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while and we thought we would do a video to dispel, is dispel the right word? Yeah. Dispel all of the rumours that seem to be floating around that we spent £50,000 on our, our Orlando holiday in 2023. Yeah, and we've also had some other questions around budgeting, how much we spent for this, how much we spent for that, how we look after our money. So we figured this is a really good opportunity to firstly dispel some rumours and really break down everything that we spent and show you how much it actually costs to spend four weeks in Orlando, which we, which we did obviously in August, September in 2023. So should we get to it? Let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. So we thought we would break um, our trip down into categories so that we could show everybody individually what each thing um, cost us. We don't want to go into individuals like individual transactions and things because that would take way too long. If we went it through every transaction we made food wise we definitely need about four vlogs. <laughs> yeah yeah we do have a lot of information thanks to Revolut but we're not we're not going to use that right. But now. we literally can tell you from this vlog at the end of this vlog you will know to the penny what we spent. Yes. The total amount for those four weeks. 100%. So the first thing we're going to go over is travel. Now travel is quite a big thing, obviously because flights and things are involved in that. Um, but let's start at the very start of travel. So we're going to start with airport transfers. So for us, getting from our house to Gatwick Airport, which is where we flew from, we actually called in the help of friends. Well, our friend Andy, shout out to Andy if you're watching. Um, and he helped us to the airport and actually home from the airport at the end of the holiday, as did my dad. So it cost us with paying our friend and people for fuel money, it cost us 50 pounds. Quite easy, quite straightforward. Cheaper than paying for parking at Gatwick. Um, a bit more peace of mind as well, knowing your car's not there, especially after that fire in that airport. Which airport was that? Luton, That I was think. Luton, yeah. Yeah, no thanks. Not that that's gonna happen anyway, that's quite rare, but yeah. Well, 50 quid I think was quite reasonable for our travel costs. It also kept costs down, didn't it, for that, yeah. getting to the airport. So that was number one. Number one. And also included in travel, we thought we'd bung in there the number one lounge at Gatwick. We did pay a bit extra for that because obviously we weren't paying for parking. We figured we'd pay a little bit more for um, lounge. That also got us premium access through security, didn't it? Yeah, it was like a premium um, security pass. Yeah, um, also with, with Blake being um, autistic the way that he is, it really helped us just to keep him calm. It wasn't a stressful environment and the airport lounge allowed him to run around a bit more freely so that was really good <laughs> don't we just know it um and that... so if you haven't gone to our travel day vlog you might want to check that out <laughs> yeah and see, and see how you act in the lounge but um for that which included the security pass that cost us 93 pounds 60 which again i don't think was too bad all things considered yeah and the top tip with that is if you've never used a number one lounge before if you sign up to the website for the first time, they give you 10% discount. So that was a slight discount, so it was £93.60. Yeah, that was a good price I thought. So, not too bad so far. Um, the next thing we're gonna talk about is, still on travel, is the iRide trolley. We thought we'd include this into travel because we used it quite a lot. So this, for those people who don't know, this is the, the shuttle bus that runs up and down International Drive all day, every day. Um, and it cost us £40 for all four of us, which is really reasonable. I think you said it normally costs about 60 It was £12 a person without, at the time, attraction tickets were doing an offer, so it was yeah. £10 each. Which is really, really good. That got us unlimited travel on and off the I ride trolley for two weeks. And we made our money back on SeaWorld alone because we took the I trolley to SeaWorld and back. Yeah. If we'd have got an Uber, it would have cost us, I don't know, quite a bit of money so yeah so with that alone i think it was a bargain 100 percent. so yeah i ride trolley 40 pounds there you go and the last part of the travel section is the big one and that's mm. flights flights so we had we paid for a seat for blake as well so it's four seats flying economy class with british airways return flights and that cost us a whopping £3,907. That also included seat selection, didn't it? Yeah, that we had to pay for our we seats. We made sure that was there. BA yeah, could do that, but um, that made sure we were all together and all happy. So yeah, that was a, that was a lot. But I remember the days we used to be able to get flights for £1,500 for all four of you. So Those our, days are gone. Our flights pre-COVID, when we were meant to be going, 
Um, we paid less than five hundred pounds for British Airways, didn't we, for the flight? It was incredible. That was a, that was a, like a, a January sale, wasn't yeah. it? Too. But that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Our flights seem to be about a grand a person. And this is because we flew in August. If you're flying True. middle of September when the kids are back at school, you can pick up some bargains. You can pick up flights with Tui for 290 quid return. So we are just talking about August here. Yeah, so there you go. £3,907 for flights. Eesh. Expensive, but it was a good flight, wasn't it, actually? So the money's already racking up. The money's already <laughs> racking up. So... Just to finish that off. Travel, in total, that's everything included. We haven't included lifts and Ubers in this because we've actually included that in our spending money later. So that'll come later on. So, travel, including all of that, came to a grand total of £4,091. Which is a lot. <laughs> isn't it? No, you say it is. It is a lot, isn't it, for travel. But hey, £4,091 just to get us to Florida and up, to, up and down the I ride trolley. But that'd probably get you a week at an all-inclusive in Turkey in the middle of August. Probably, yeah. For all four of you. Probably, yeah. We got four weeks in Florida. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. So the next section that we broke down was accommodation. Now, if you've watched our vlog series or you've seen our channel, you will know that we are resale DVC members. So there is a bit of a caveat to this section because we didn't pay for our accommodation because we've already paid for it up front through a timeshare with Disney. So our first week we stayed at Universal's Surfside Resort Endless Summer and it was absolutely fantastic. It was amazing. It was such a good time. And for eight nights it was £1,024. Which I don't think was too bad. No. And what we did was we booked through booking.com yep. before we went and they had some sort of deal going on so we did get it slightly cheaper and we also used the shops away app through virgin mm -hmm. so we got points for that but that's for a whole nother vlog yeah so all in all for our four weeks in orlando the cost of our accommodation was 1024 pounds which isn't too bad. I know there'll be some people in the comments who want to, who want to say you actually cost more than that because you have paid for your DVC. But yeah, Absolutely. we brought that back in 2019. And there is a video um, is about a video what we did. Well, there's a... There, oh, there's, if, sorry, there is one, yeah. If you want to go back and look at our resale video, it's completely out of date. We've got a new one coming up, but it does explain how much we paid for our resale contract. So, the next section we're going to talk about is a big one. Park tickets. There's a lot of bits involved, of bobs involved in this one, so bear with us. So the first one we're going to talk about is Universal Studios. I should say, I'm pretty sure we brought most of the tickets for this through attra attraction tickets, didn't we? We did. Most of them, not all. Our uh, Universal tickets we bought through Florida Tix because they had a deal, it was a Black Friday deal, and we got 10% off of the tickets. So let's start there. Yep. Let's start there with Universal. So for Universal, we had a 14-day unlimited pass. Um, which meant we had access to Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure and Volcano Bay for 14 days unlimited and that cost us £1,170.40. That's a lot. Mm, but actually, is... for two weeks at Universal, I don't think that's too bad, really. We just, mm, well, maybe not. For us it's not because this is, this is the holiday that we choose to go on. So you can't get this very much cheaper in this section with park tickets you're only going to get 10 percent off and you're yeah. going to have to try and find the local deal so if you go if you're part of orlando time um on facebook if you message uh privately message one of the um admin one of the admin they normally have a discount discount code with florida ticks and it's normally between 10 and 15 percent so it's definitely worth asking the question because i mean 10 percent on something that has cost you 1170 pounds so it's 110 pound saving at least yeah oh yeah it's brilliant it's really really good so so definitely look out for the discounts oh yeah definitely the next one is disney park tickets we missed the 21 day ticket <laughs> i really wish the 21 day ticket was back but it's not um, so we purchased the 14 night ticket, which is through, that was through attraction tickets, yeah. wasn't it? 14 day ticket. So that gives you 
14 days in an 18 day consecutive period. Access to all the theme parks. The water parks aren't included as, well they're included aren't they? They're not, they're not taken as, as, as extra days, but that's a, yeah. another video. Um, but they're included within that. Um, and that cost us, for all four of us, 2,079 pounds for our Disney tickets for two weeks. Which is crazy. It is crazy. It is crazy, but hey ho. Next is SeaWorld and Aquatica. We didn't utilize these tickets as much as we should have done. Again, this was through attraction tickets, wasn't it? It was. We got a bit of a deal on this. So again, we had access, full access to both SeaWorld and Aquatica, one visit per park over a 14 day period. It also included a food and drinks package at both of the parks, didn't it? Um, and that cost us, for four of us, £572.40. Which, if, when you take into account the food and drinks, it was really, really expensive at SeaWorld. It actually isn't too bad, but we didn't utilise, we didn't go to Aquatica, did we? So we kind of wasted half the Yeah, time, and I think. I think just to flag up with SeaWorld, I don't know about Aquatica because we didn't go, mm. SeaWorld have got an all-out ban on picnics being brought into the park, all your lunch boxes, your drinks, you can't bring it into the park. So what they've done is they've inflated all of the, the quick service dining and the restaurants to make it look like your dining package is worth it. Yeah. And it is worth it because there's no other way around it. Yeah, you haven't got much of a choice, have you? You no. can't retake really your own food in, so you have to use theirs, which is a bit naughty. It is a bit naughty, mm. and yeah, we won't be getting about that. <laughs> yeah, we enjoy SeaWorld, we like it, but we just moved on it now. It's quite yeah. expensive. We think, actually, no, it's not really, not anymore. Shame. Yeah. But there's some great rides there. Like, I love the coasters there. It's brilliant, but it's not right for us right now. Um, so, yeah, that was £572.40. Next on the list is Legoland. We took a nice day trip to Legoland, didn't we? It was lovely. It was Good really day out. Nice. Legoland was great. As you might have saw from our vlog, the park was absolutely empty. Felt like we were the only ones in there. It was like our own private theme park of the day. It was brilliant. Bloody hot. It was hot. <laughs> but really, really good. Um, and that cost us for a family for £176. And do you know what? Actually, I thought it was worth, worth it. every yeah. penny. Especially for Blake, he could go on everything. And he loved it, he had a great yeah. day. We had a great day to be fair. Didn't we we did. Brilliant. And because it was so quiet, Blake could really enjoy it, couldn't he? He was going on rides over and yeah. over again and just, as I said, it was like their own theme park. They had a great time. Yeah, it was really, really worth it. So yeah, 176 quid. It's cheaper than Legoland Windsor anyway, anyway, isn't it? Yeah, and we bought those tickets from Attraction Tickets as well. Yeah, we did, yeah. Next on the list is a contentious one for us. We weren't sure if we were going to do this. But it's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So for one night, going to <laughs> Magic Kingdom for the Halloween party, it cost us as a family of four £360. That's a lot of money. And we went on one of the cheapest nights because there are different prices as you get closer. Yeah, this is quite, um, this is in August, wasn't it? So one it of the was, first parties. It was, it was one like... of the first ones. It was a really great night, don't get me wrong, but when you look at that and you break it down, is it really worth it for like six hours in a theme park? Is it six hours? Something like that? Yeah. It? Yeah, it's not a lot of time. It was so hot. Oh my goodness. It was boiling. If you want to dress up, don't wear nylon. <laughs> oh, I was melting. <laughs> Literally melting. Uh, but no, it was, uh, it, it is good. I think everyone needs to do it once, but I think once you've done it once, you probably don't need to again for a while. So we've done it. Next time we go, we probably won't do it. No. But there you go. Five, no, oh, sorry, £360. £360. And while we're on the subject of uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, I haven't included this cost into the park ticket, because it's not really a park ticket, but it was part of our spending money, um, which will be a bit later on. But Matilda did do the Bibbity Bobbity Boutique, didn't she? She did. And she went for the, I think they call it the carriage package. I think it was the carriage package, So you, yeah. don't, you don't get a dress, but you get a t-shirt, you get a lovely bag, you get your makeup, all your hair done, um, and you'll see from our vlog what actually she got with it. But that was $99.96. Mm. <clears throat> and I think it was well worth it. And just to add in there as well, the exchange rate at that time was $1.26 $1 to the pound. So yeah. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Next is another expensive night. Again, this is something I wanted to do for a long time and I got to do it and I'm very, very happy. And I think it was money well spent because I had a blast. And yeah. that was Halloween Horror Nights. So I paid for entry on the first night, so it was super busy. And I also included the Fast Pass. So I got to go through every single Horror House line once in the Express queue. So for the ticket and the Express, that cost me £200 for the night. Worth it? 100% worth it. 100%. If you love that kind of thing, do it. Do it at least once and you got it. When I go back again next time and Horror Nights is on, I'm going to do it for multiple nights, so I'm going to spend more money. That's the first I've heard of it, everybody. <laughs> it was good. So there you go. £200 for Horror Nights. It was a bit... I think I paid on the Universal website directly for that, and I, I paid in dollars. Um, but the exchange rate came out to 200 exactly. And the ticket was on your phone, on the app, wasn't it? Because everything was on the it. phone, everything was on the app. So I think it was $140 for the ticket and another 60 or so dollars for the fast pass. So yeah, it was, it, was, it was brilliant. All there, so I scanned myself in and they scanned me in before each, um, each attraction. Yeah, it was great. So easy. But yeah, uh, 200 for a night out. On his own. Oh, yeah. Last but not least, the Pirate Dinner Show. A fun night, an expensive night. <laughs> it was nostalgic, wasn't it? It was brilliant. Like if you went to Orlando in the 90s and the 2000s, like I think every family did a dinner show. Mm, that's what was the thing to do. And it was literally behind Endless Summer. It was, it really wasn't The very venue far at was all. like not so far close. at all. It was so close. But yeah, so that show cost us, without spending money again, spending money comes later. Um, the show itself cost yeah. us £135. And I did that through the American Groupon. So I used the VPN and I ordered the tickets through the American Groupon. That was a good night. If you like a dinner show, you like pirates. Three course meal. Three course meal. Drinks. Yeah, drinks were include. included. Yeah, you could go got, to the bar and get extra cocktails, which you did, but... But you got like a... We got jugs of drink, didn't we? We did, yeah. I think you had a jug of beer included. I think I did too, yeah. yeah. Yeah, great night. Really good. Be 135. So, to sum up, park tickets. <laughs> and attractions. I still want to say it. Park yeah. tickets and attractions and one-offs cost us a massive £4,692.80. That's a lot of park tickets. But they're going to be there for four weeks. <sighs> We had a great time. We did have a great time. And let's not beat around the bush. We saved up for this holiday for a very, very long time. And Four years. Yeah. And it may sound really decadent because it was. Because that's what we wanted it to be. Because we'd waited for so long to go. So, yeah. No regrets. No regrets? Absolutely not. Can't wait to do it again next year. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> New car? No. <laughs> nah. New <laughs> car. Let's go to Florida. Right, on to the next one. Okay, we also have one other miscellaneous cost we thought we'd include in, which is phone um, phone sims, sim cards for your phones that work in America. We paid for page ago um, sim cards through three, and they were, well, they were free, weren't they? We got them free. We topped up with I think fifteen pounds worth of credit, which lasted us for the whole month yeah. each. So that was thirty pounds. A nice cheap thirty pounds for full access to your phones. I'm not sure if we'll do it again next time. There's Possibility of us using Virt virtual sim cards. Virtual sim cards, yeah. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But for now, 30 quid I don't think is too bad for the two of us for unlimited data and what have you. Not well, considering what's not unlimited pay. data, was it? That was a, a fair use policy, but. Yeah, but that's across the board. Yeah, it was, um, yeah, it didn't come 15 explain, gigs. That's fine. So yeah, 30 pounds. So before spending money, if you include accommodation, park tickets, the miscellaneous stuff, and travel. Tra travel. Then we spent nine thousand eight hundred and thirty-seven pounds sixty-eight before spending money. Not so bad. Nearly ten grand. So we did very, very well. <laughs> We're good at spending, aren't we? Yeah. So yeah, before spending money, it was that. We're still quite a way off fifty grand. Yeah. Still quite a way off. But I don't think there's still time because we're spending money. <laughs> <Who knows? Sorry. laughs> 
So the last cost that we broke down was our spending money. And this is really a bone of contention for so many people you speak to that are going to Florida. How much should I budget? Mm -hmm. How much should I take for four, two adults, two children? Honestly, it's really difficult to gauge because we took £4,500, which worked out with the exchange rate at nearly 1.27 to $5,712.88. Um, and we could have not taken that much money. No. We, no. we really did not spend that amount. We didn't need to spend that amount of money. So for two adults, two children, that was our spending money. I thought it would be good to break down our cost of our lift because we didn't have a car while we were there for the four weeks. Honestly, the price of car hire is insane. Yeah, really expensive. There. Yeah. Um, and we were on iDrive that first week and then we knew we'd have the free public transport through the Disney resorts. So our lift in total, we took 14 trips and that was £447 in spending. Mm, which came to $567 roughly, if you look at the exchange rate. Yeah, and then non-spend, so money that we brought back with us that was on the Revolut and cash, came to £325.02, giving us a subtotal for spending money of four thousand one hundred and seventy-five. Seventy-five pounds. So we spent four thousand one hundred and seventy-five pounds in a month. For the whole month, that's everything: food, drink, lifts, pirate paraphernalia, um, <laughs> Bibbity Bobby boutique, boutique, everything. Everything that you saw that we bought all comes into that spending money. Yeah. Which is actually not too bad. No, that was refillable drinks at Legoland. It, honestly, it was, that is how, that is how much we took. So, <laughs> with everything, including spending money, our four week trip to Florida in 2023 cost us a grand total of 14,012 £14, pounds and 66 pence. Nowhere near the 50,000 pounds that was being Float it around. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's how much it cost. It was lavish. We had a great time. Um, I do think people look at it and look at the accommodation and think, how are they? Oh, how are they saying it costs that much because you stayed in such lovely accommodation with the Savannah View? But that was part of the DVC resale. Hundred percent. And if we weren't DVC members, that I, holiday would have cost a lot more. Yeah. And every single holiday we go on to Florida from now on would have also cost us a lot more. Yeah. That's the trick of DVC people. If you're going back to Florida on the same Disney accommodation, pay for your DVC. Anyway. That's enough, that's something for a different vlog, which is coming up very soon, so stay tuned. Um, so yeah, we had, we enjoyed ourselves. We, we saved up for a long time for that trip, and that's how we wanted to spend our money. So we did. And on the last day of the trip, as you see in one of our vlogs, our, our last vlog on the day of travel home, we spent nearly a thousand dollars in one day. So yeah. you really can budget and save on spending if you if you are frugal almost with the quick service yeah. and where you eat. But also if you just budget yourself every day, like people ask us how much do we need for a day, we budgeted around $200 a day and it worked. For us yeah. it worked. And we were able to do that using the Revolut quite well. So again, just, just being disciplined with how you're spending will go a very, very long way. So there you go, people. That was how much it cost us for a month in Florida. Um, that's fine. Little in joke. Well, uh, there will be some more vlogs coming up very, very soon. As part of this, we're going to do some talks about DBC, whether or not our DBC was worth it, how much it would have cost us otherwise, and doing some direct versus resale comparisons. So stay tuned for that. Um, but we're going to sign off now because the battery's about to go. But um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.